Have you ever wondered about the technical marvels lurking deep under the Earth's surface? In today's video, we will be taking you through the awe-inspiring world of tunnel megaprojects, where human ingenuity and the power of technology converge to create modern engineering marvels. These are not ordinary tunnels. They are massive, complex, and intricate structures that burrow through the heart of our planet, overcoming geographical barriers and geological challenges. Stay with me to the very end. Trust me, it promises to be an astounding adventure. Let's dive straight in. It may amaze you to know that these mega projects do more than connect two points. They bind cities and nations together, becoming lifelines that facilitate trade, transportation, and travel. They represent our unwavering pursuit of progress, our ability to adapt, and our unwavering resolve to overcome obstacles from the bustling ports of the Temps to the snowy peaks of the Swiss Alps. These tunnels demonstrate human engineering's astounding powers. So, are you ready to plunge deep and experience some of the world's most remarkable tunnel mega projects? From the Thames Tunnel, the first engineering tunnel completed 175 years ago, to the Taihu Tunnel, China's longest underwater tunnel, take a seat and get ready, as the engineering prowess on exhibit will surprise you. Let's kick it off with the Thames Tunnel. This is where it all began, the 19th century world's first tunnel constructed beneath a navigable river beneath the busy waterway of the Thames in London, lies an engineering marvel that has endured the test of time until the Thames Tunnel was completed in 1843. Rotherhithe and Wapping are linked by the Thames Tunnel. It is 1,300 feet, 400 meters long, and 35 feet broad by 20 feet high, with a depth of 75 feet below the river surface measured at high tide. Sir Mark Izard Brunel and his son, the renowned Isambard Kingdom Brunel, performed this astounding achievement via pure ingenuity. The Thames Tunnel was an engineering wonder that saw 24 million people walk through it before being transferred to rail usage for the underground in 1865. The tunnel was constructed of two 1,200-foot-long arched passages joined by an open arched wall that formed a retail arcade. The corridor connected Wapping in the East End to Rotherhithe on the South Bank. Brunel devised the tunneling shield, one of the fundamental technologies of contemporary civil engineering, to propel his vision. The filth at the Thames's bottom prompted the tunnel shield's technological breakthrough. Comparable equipment is still used in tunneling today. The Thames Tunnel's construction was not without difficulties. The soft waterlogged mud created for hazardous working conditions, and workmen had to dig through the earth using a pioneering shield method designed by Brunel himself. Several floods and a huge financial cost caused frequent construction stoppages, extending the project's lifespan to 20 years. However, the tunnel's spectacular opening in 1843, as well as an unplanned visit by Queen Victoria and Prince Albert that summer, made it world-renowned. No doubt this was just the first engineered tunnel that gave rise to all others we see today. It is still nothing compared to Norway's cruise ship tunnel, a staggering work of engineering ingenuity. Let's take a look at the miraculous feats of our next tunnel project. Norway's cruise ship tunnel. Norway has some of the most beautiful landscapes in the world, but it's not simple to travel about. For ages, humanity has found it difficult to navigate its network of glacier valleys known as fjords. However, Major infrastructural investments are making this breathtaking region more accessible than ever before. A new coastal roadway will alter regional road traffic by connecting seven cities, eliminating ferry crossings, and slashing travel times in half. And now, a one-of-a-kind maritime path, the world's first full-scale ship tunnel, is being created. The tunnel is 37 meters high by 26.5 meters wide and 12 meters deep, allowing ships weighing up to 16,000 tons to pass through. This insane undertaking is the solution to an issue that has existed for over a thousand years. Since the time of the Vikings, crossing the Stadhavet Sea has been a perilous undertaking for ships. But what if I told you that Norway's cruise ship tunnel is nothing compared to the Gotthard Base Tunnel and Brenner Base Tunnel in Italy, with remarkable feats of engineering ingenuity? Before considering the Gotthard Base Tunnel, let's have a look at the Brenner Base Tunnel as well as what makes it so remarkable. Brenner Base Tunnel the Brenner Base Tunnel is a railroad tunnel that connects two nations. It stretches along 55 kilometers between Innsbruck, Austria, and Fortezza, Italy. The Inn Valley Tunnel, a railway bypass south of Innsbruck, was inaugurated in May 1994. This 12.7-kilometer tunnel connects to the Brenner Base Tunnel. Passenger and freight trains will consequently transit not only through the Brenner Base Tunnel, but also through the Inn Valley Tunnel for a few kilometers. This 64-kilometer-long route will be the world's longest subterranean train link. The Brenner Base Tunnel is a 61-kilometer-long subterranean railway line between Tulfas, Innsbruck, and Fortezza, making it the world's longest underground railway section. It is made up of two 8.1-meter-wide tubes connected by a single track that allows for one-way train travel. 
The 55-kilometer-long two-tube tunnel system connects Innsbruck to Forteza. The base tunnel has a slope of 4 to 7 and an apex height of 790 meters above sea level, 580 meters below the Brenner Pass. Let's have a look at another breathtaking masterpiece. The Gotthard Base Tunnel happens to be the longest and deepest railway tunnel in the world. So what makes it so spectacular and awe-inspiring than the others mentioned above? Let's find out. Gotthard Base Tunnel the Gotthard Base Railway Tunnel is the world's longest and deepest railway tunnel, running beneath the St. Gotthard Massif in the Lepontine Alps in southern Switzerland. The tunnel, which opened on June 2016, offers a high-speed train link between northern and southern Europe, providing a mainline rail connection between Rotterdam, Netherlands, and Genoa, Italy. The Gotthard Base Tunnel, which consists of two single-track tunnels, is 57 kilometers long and has a maximum depth of 2,300 meters. It connects Erstfeld in Uri Canton with Bodio in Ticino Canton as part of the new railway link through the Alps, NRLA project. Engineer Carl Edward Gruner created the initial creative design for this masterpiece in 1947. The tunnel considerably expanded local transport capacity over the Swiss Alpine barrier, offering a faster and more efficient route than the St. Gotthard Pass, the previous St. Gotthard Tunnel, built 1872 to 1880, or the St. Gotthard Road Tunnel, completed in 1980. It was built in southern Switzerland to handle high-speed trains and cut travel time between northern and southern Europe. Due to the unexpected nature of the granite, the high mountain weight, and harsh temperatures and humidity, the project was a remarkable technical achievement. At four building sites, four access tunnels were developed, each with its base camp, housing quarters, cafeterias, worker transit, water treatment facilities, and concrete factories. The tunnel took 17 years to build and was completed under its $12 billion budget. If you think you've seen the world's largest mega project tunnel, wait until you see the Seiken Railway Tunnel in Japan, which houses the world's deepest underwater railway. It's comprised of two railway stations, making it even more fascinating to behold and explore. Let's take a look at it. Seiken Railway Tunnel. Japan's Seiken Railway Tunnel is a dual gauge railway that goes 100 meters below sea level and 240 meters below the seabed. It flows beneath the seafloor of the Tsuguru Strait, which divides Hokkaido's southern boundary from Aomori Prefecture on the mainland's northern edge. The railway tunnel is 53.85 kilometers long, including 23.3 kilometers under the ocean, making it the world's longest undersea tunnel, better recognized as the world's deepest underwater train line. The Japan Railway Construction Transport and Technology Agency created the project, and tunnel construction began in 1971 and was completed in 1988. It was erected at a cost of around $7 billion, over 12 times the initial budget, much of which was attributable to inflation over time. The tunnel has two railway stations that are the first to be built beneath the sea and serve as emergency escape locations in the case of a calamity. Exhaust fans, infrared fire alarm systems, and water spray nozzles are installed at the stations to improve passenger safety. The sea section of the tunnel is 16 meters wide and 91 meters long, including a pilot shaft, a service shaft, and a main shaft. Its remote base has the world's biggest maintenance space within a tube. This tunnel might be nothing other than sophisticated state-of-the-art technology, but it's still nothing like its counterpart in China, the Taihu Tunnel, the longest underwater highway tunnel in the world. Some say this tunnel roof depicts the aesthetics of rainbows and light. Before we give it a wrap, let's see for ourselves what the Taihu Tunnels look like. Taihu Tunnel. After nearly four years of development, China's longest underwater highway tunnel has been completed. The 1079 kilometer long China's longest underwater roadway tunnel is officially open. The Taihu Tunnel runs beneath Lake Tahoe in Jiangsu Province, China, about 50 kilometers east of Shanghai. Over 2 million cubic meters of concrete were used to construct the two-way tunnel, which has six lanes and is 17.45 meters wide, at $1.56 billion. The tunnel's ceiling has been decked with multicolored LED lights to reduce driver tiredness and safeguard the environment of Tail Lake. The contractor has gone to considerable pains to reduce dust and noise pollution by operating an enclosed concrete mixing facility, using environmentally friendly vehicles, and replacing diesel pile hammers with half as loud hydraulic pile hammers. The tunnel, which began building in 2018, is part of the 43.9 kilometer Chanchawaxi Highway and was opened to the public in December 2021. It provides an alternate expressway for commuters traveling between Shanghai and Nanjing, Jiangsu's capital. It was developed to relieve traffic congestion in the communities surrounding Lake Tahoe, while also stimulating economic growth in the area. These tunnels represent the pinnacle of contemporary tunneling technology. Each of these mega projects, each unique and outstanding in its own way, has made enormous contributions to global infrastructure. They've pushed the boundaries of what's possible, 
eliminating geographical obstacles and promoting connectivity and cooperation among nations. These magnificent tunnel megaprojects not only connect physical regions, but also represent the tenacious spirit of human ingenuity and desire. What are your opinions on these creative tunnel megaprojects? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you find value in the content we provide on this channel, please hit the like and share button. To get the latest updates, kindly hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.